Hi everyone, sorry it's been such a long time between videos, but as we are all in the same position in this world that is new to everyone, there's so much else going on. I've been meaning to come out to the studio and do this video for a long time. I created this a while ago. Uh, however, my neighbor decided to put on an extension on their house. So I have had so much noise going on in the backyard, which is where my studio is that I really couldn't compete with all of the power tools and workmen screaming at each other and dropping big chunks of lumber on the ground, that sort of thing. So I thought, oh, I'll just wait until they're taking a day off, which I hope they're not going to come back because it's been very quiet this morning and I thought, well, I'm wasting an opportunity. So here I am. This is my version of Seth Apter's bento box. That was a workshop I was booked into last year. However, it was cancelled. That was one of the first of the workshops that I had booked into that was cancelled. It was really quite a shock to me. However, there have been three cancellations of different workshops since then. <laughs> so it's becoming a bit of the norm now, which is not a good norm. Anyway, this is my version. I originally wanted to get a a metal box to put this in but I couldn't find one so while I was searching for that I was collecting other tins and receptacles for these little books that uh, I assumed was like that I really don't know the class didn't go ahead so I'm just sort of making it up as I go along from images that I've seen and different techniques that I've learned also from Seth either in person in years gone by or on the uh, online he's done a few classes as well which has been really good and I've applied some of those techniques to what is inside these little areas here so firstly um, this the, the actual box is an old document box you know that you might have stored in papers that sort of thing There's, there was a big clip on this end that would hold your papers down into your into the box that I pulled out to make room for the rest of these things and I do have this thing about collecting boxes as well so I use them in here to separate different bits and pieces and also to use as a receptacle for books that sort of thing so let's get started where shall we start maybe this one this is a nice little I think it's a um, little lolly not lolly maybe a cough drops or something like that type of tin that I didn't bother to do anything to because I thought it had aged rather nice on its own. The beautiful teal colour in the background and all this chipping away and going a bit rusty. I quite liked it. Oh, and it was $6 in a junk shop on a trip that we took to Barossa. Must have been a few years ago now because we can't go anywhere anymore. Anyway, um, this is it. And I've um, just had this rather long piece of dyed, tea stained rather, um, card. So it's not lightweight, it's quite robust um, card that I then folded to fit into this rounded the corners of each page. And then created a collage sheet or a master sheet, I don't know how that would be, but just so as it was, would kind of flow. This one did flow. You can see that's one piece of the collage there that I've cut it and there it is. It doesn't have to match, you can put them all, all over the place. And uh, what was a technique that I did learn from Seth when we were making some little books that I continued on with. So this is the first one that we're looking at. Oh, it seems like my light up there is flashing away. And that was, like I said, um, a concertina style little thing. And just decorated it with some plaster tape and some foil to stick to it. So different colours in there. That was something I was doing a lot of last year. So maybe this is a bit older than I thought it was. A bit overdue for a video. So that's that one. 
and I just put a little hole through there so you can so it can just be pulled out quite easily and a bit of linen waxed linen thread there to hold it in so that's that one I'll leave you out this is an old um, cigarette case I think I can't even remember where I found this one might have just been in my stash that I found a long time ago so that's that one and these are just individual little cards cut to size to fit in there with different collage that one's a serviette I think on there it looks a bit lacy that one's got a serviette pop them down there that's also a bit of tissue paper printed tissue over some book text or book pages rather and a little bee free there because it's a bird this is just against I think it's just on um, manila folder or white card but that's just gathering up some things from the uh, collage box you know how you have off cuts from other projects this was a luggage tag that was a bit too long so I only folded it up and stapled it right on the edge so it created a little pocket for some extra bits and that's what that is and some stitching and this one a punch with a paper clip again too long so there is a little pocket there don't worry there's nothing in it I'm just just waiting for, for an addition to go in there and just some pattern paper on the background here's another tag that was too long so rather than cut it off just folded it up and pop that on there and the last one obviously can't have too many in there it's quite narrow or small tight whatever again a little pocket on the bottom stapled either side after it's been folded up and some little things stuck on there from tissue paper so that's that one and just the inside there decorated with some book page gesso and some fabric and a word stuck on some tea bag that's that one get rid of that now this here, again, as I said, I like to collect boxes. So this is a lot bigger than those two little ones, which is okay. All I did was stick some um, paper over whatever logo was on there. Can't remember. Anyway, it was a nice box. I couldn't throw it away. So he, again, this is watercolour paper, I think. That I was that is tea stained and. Um, left with you know a few things le le <clears throat> left on it while it was drying so it's created a bit of mark making there and some big tags made to pop in the pockets just from whatever paper and some little decoration on there too so that's the first one been including a bit more machine stitching in my work lately too and I think that's well, it's been joined together but stitched to join it with just a piece on the back and stitch through the machine So there's a few different things there to include in the box and the box is quite deep so they fit quite well with their little extra bits and pieces added to them this one's got a little fabric printed fabric uh, thing that was also tea stained i don't think i stuck it in yet and that's the last one there so that will be stuck to the bottom here hold it all in 
on that one. So what's that? Three different book things. And there's the, again, some wax linen thread as a little handle for your pages. Please decorate the back too, I suppose. But I haven't done that. Leave you out too now. So... These are the little books that I did with Seth online. Um, it was a great little class. I can't think of the name of it though. Sorry about that. If I think of it, I will add it to the uh, um, description in the box. And again, some more um, plaster tape. And some more foil that I've added to the pages here. That one feels a bit, oh no, here we are. And that's, you know, Seth's, well, I've made some bigger books than this with Seth, but this was, oh, don't stick, there we go. This was really cool because they're so small and you could make, you know, 10 books so quickly. It's just fun. And that's just a scrapbook cover or paper to cover the, the covers. So that was that one, and here is another. Again, made online with Seth. I have taken a few photos of this. I thought it might be on my Insta, which is also Cable Studio, if you're interested to look there. So these techniques I have applied to a lot of what's going on in here just you know collaging and and making sure they all sort of speak to each other with different different things you know like the white some foil oh, you can see it good class and great techniques to use in all sorts of different things i don't think this one's got anything in it but this one was a tin that my mum gave me which was so nice however it was a bit you know shiny and new and polished so I got some textured paper and covered parts of it in that I, did, I liked the, the black band that was on the edge of the lid and then I just rubbed it over with some black uh, ink to pick out the highlights on the on the textured paper so that will have something in it at some point that will be very similar to the rest of course and another bright shiny tin from mum thanks mum she always saves me things when i ask her and this one has something in it but it can covered in textured paper although this was a black this is exactly how it was this paper so i didn't have to add anything to it to bring out the texture it's quite pretty and these were just little sample pieces which were you know which was good again tea stained paper also, this is um, coloured. It must have been dyeing some other things, and the uh, plastic doily thing that I place on top of a lot of things that I dye must have been—I don't want to say polluted, but uh, must have had a bit of colour on it. So it's transferred onto the onto this paper too, which was quite okay. I liked it, so I thought I would just keep it on there. But again. Little collages with stitching, some stamps, some lace stitched on, and some fabric. That's a fabric piece from a bag. I don't even know who's. It's like a shopping bag, you know. And that's the rest. There's some of it there, a strip of it there as well. Stitched on across a couple of pages. And again, waxed linen thread and a little handle through a hole. So that's that one. And you can stay out as well. Now this, I broke down a shop bell for the spring that is normally inside for a, pro a project, another project that I did online with Roxanne Evans Stout. It was such a great project. So that was just there. And I just thought, eh, that looks all right. So that can go there. And this is a tobacco tin that I also picked up from a crazy marketplace thing. This is really bashed up and quite 
night. I like all this rustiness. But this is just full of things I've collected, you know, like sticks with moss on it. I don't know why I collected it, but I did. Uh, and I will use it. And little, the top of little, I think they're acorns. Is that right? Or some sort of oak thing. And some flat stones and some uh, beach glass. If ever I find anything interesting looking, I just pick it up, put it in my pocket. And when I come home, they get chucked into a tin. And this is the tin. Well, it's a bit full now. I'll have to get another one. So that might have a book in it one day too. But until then, it'll have nature stuff in it. So here's one that I also saved. Just a box covered with textured paper and ink and it's a little drawer that's how the box was I can't remember what was in there but it'll come to me one day again tea stained paper with little collages on them might add a bit more to these ones they're a bit they need a focal point I think or well we'll see how I go but I quite like those as well there's not any foiling on these which is nice to have a bit of a break from that I guess but there is you know you like tea bags that's a tea bag there stuck on over some joss paper over some book page so they're sort of crammed in there is that the end must be stuck down in there yeah so that's that one and again not too over the top with the <clears throat> the foil that can sort of get a bit much sometimes I guess but you can just put back in there and this is a box that I actually made <laughs> because I needed something to fit in here with this so I made a box just from card or you know packing stuff and, and then and covered it with some more textured paper and picked out the detail with I think it's like a what's it called rub on a gold I can't think of the name of it, it smells like shoe polish and you just rub it and it's picked up the um, the texture which is kind of nice but I didn't do anything with the bottom just painted it Okay, so here we are with this one. This is also just scraps, leftover scraps from different projects and some text as backgrounds. So it's probably not finished, but again, stitched together. These are those, um, I think it's, is it Caddy or Cardi or something? There's an H in there somewhere. Um, paper, and it just dyes so beautifully, or stains so beautifully with tea and other colours but this is just ordinary um, paper and from this is a scrap from a project or from a class that I did a couple of years ago that I still have so much paper left over and maps this is a thumbnail of oh, for a painting I was wanting to do that didn't sort of come to fruition so that's all been ripped up and used as collage space to write things down if that's what you're into that's the rest of that thumbnail there that one and another map and this here is a piece of from the last book I think just a leftover piece of what had happened with the tea staining and being put had that put over the top of it and the, the color transferred into the paper which I don't think I could repeat doing because I, I mean it is quite pretty but mm, I could never repeat it and this is just some things that I had lying around in the collage box or the scrap box that I decided oh there is a bit of foil on that but it's been a while so there's that and just the hole in this one I haven't put the little tie through yet so there's those And this is the lid of this I think which is basically this one here but one you know 
same sort of thing but one is the lid and one is the other now this I picked up at a not a site like a fair church fair where some people had emptied out their shed and I thought I really like just how that looks I, I don't know that I would use it for anything other than just you know wow doesn't that look nice you know so that sort of filled up that space I know it's not a book but it is sort of you know the feel of what I wanted here now have I done anything in this yes probably what is this another little tin oh. I haven't joined these together yet because and it's just basically the same as what is in there and it's that same paper again that picked up some of the dye from a previous thing now this I didn't join it to this one yet because if I put any collages on these pages may not all fit in together if it is attached see that's the back of the wallpaper sheet if it's attached to that it might not all fit in if these all have collage on so I thought I would not attach it yet I'll wait and see what I do with those pages that are in there in the longer piece I can always attach it later so that's that one and this is a cigarette box from way back when it was all painted white and I think I got this at the same place I got this because it had some little uh, screws or tacks or something in it. Ah, yes, here we go again, same thing. Um, again, with a bit of stitching down the sides. But again, has not been decorated. It's just sort of been put in there to remind me that going to have that book in it and hopefully if I do decorate the pages it will still fit I mean I can always cut a bit off but that's not the point so that's that you can go back in there you can go back over here you can leave there that's you and that's you and I leave this space here because and you live there put you back in there so I'll take you out so I don't forget and you guys can live down here now can you fit what's happened okay good you're in so when this is back in here there's a space here to accommodate this little clipboard that I made because I've oh, there's also a pocket I'll just pull this down a little so you can see there's a pocket here and that's where this clipboard lives in there like that and because it's got the bulldog clip at the top here when I fold it down it nestles nicely in between those other two boxes and just sits flat and shut so the clipboard is really just a piece of card that's covered with scrapbook paper and these are the tea bags that I used to um, dye the paper and now they've all been stitched together at the top just some old ones and I'd quite like the way they they are when they're dry and they're so kind of delicate and very soft so I've stamped on them all just with some text from different stamps that I have couldn't even remember what half of these were although this particular stamp I do remember because it is from my calligraphy teacher she did some beautiful French calligraphy and turned it into a stamp and I bought one so that's that one I think about her quite often when I um, use that stamp this one here is from somewhere else I couldn't tell you where but anyway so there's lots of different languages in here and different fonts and there's a few blank pages at the back but that's also I must have taken the tea bags out of the tea bath and plopped them down in some dye so it's picked that picked up some color which is fine so those will just stay in here in that little pocket that I created and 
And that's that. So the box was also covered with with wallpaper and painted and then I just wiped over it while the paint was still wet I wiped over it to take some of the paint off the tops and there just to give it a bit of an aged sort of metallic look and these here I took off the wallpaper books because they all they all have these great big chunky um, corner things so I took them off and used them on there did I put it on the back no just on the front here on the lid and on the base. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so on the lid and on the base. There. There's no closure on the come back here, you. There's no closure on the box. Because it's currently just sitting on my shelf. But I'm very, very happy with it. And I'm so glad that I just pushed through and did it. It took me a long time. But then when you're in lockdown in Melbourne, you've got nothing but time. So thank you, Seth, for the inspiration and the ideas and also for posting so much of your great work. I hope you like this. I do. I am so happy. I just cannot wait to actually do the class with you one day and see what different things we can do. It's a bit of a bigger project than I normally do, which is normally just my books and it's been a bit difficult to film as well although thank you so much everyone if you've made it to the end if you weren't too bored um i appreciate it um if you like it give me a thumbs up and um if you're not subscribed subscribe and hit the bell if you hit the bell you'll be notified when i do our next video which if you've been following me anyway you'll know there's not that many so i will try and pull my finger out a bit and get on with it Although my husband says, why don't you just do a video every week? So because it takes me longer than a week to create something. But doesn't matter. Here we are. So thanks again and take care.